Hey guys, it's Demetrius Flowers, and today is day 42 of my personal growth video blog. Um, I've been listening to um, a book on audio called The uh, Magic of Thinking Big. I think I've mentioned that before, and um, it's just my personal opinion, but I think that the book is um, an amazing book. It really uh, allows you to, um, I guess, do some inner um, soul searching to start really thinking about your life, where you currently are, where you currently are, and um, how to get to where you want to be, and, um, and and how it is that we allow our negative thoughts and the environment around us or the negativity of people around us to keep us from progressing forward in life. And um, I'm listening to uh, a, a passage of it um, a few seconds ago. And he's talking in there about how so many of us are dying conscious. And I thought to myself, man, that's really deep. That's a deep statement, you know. And if you stop and ponder and think about it, um, he wasn't necessarily saying that we are physically dead, but consciously we're dead. So we, we walk and, and talk and we look like we're alive. But for many of us, we're not alive because we are not dreaming. We're not pursuing. We're not going after our uh, dreams, goals, and aspirations in life. We're not seeking out our purpose. We've um, succumbed to the strains and the stresses of life, and now we are just going through life um, with the mentality of just being okay with getting by. And so um, I, I thought it was a, um, a, a deep statement Um I think it's something that many of us don't like to admit to ourselves, but I think there's a huge segment of the population that um, are not happy with where they are in their lives and um, won't live in reality to um, go out and seek out the training necessary necessary to um, give yourself an opportunity to um, um, be ultimately happy and to um, become extremely successful in life. And so um, that's one of the things that he talks about in the book is that we will, um, a lot of us have gotten to the point where we know that we should eat better and that we um, should feed our bodies certain things. We spend billions of dollars on vitamins and things like that because research and studies have shown that that's good for us and will prolong our lives and make us live a healthier and happier life. And there's a, a ton of of people. I mean, a huge segment of the population. I mean, 68% of the population is considered obese that have just thrown caution to the wind and aren't paying attention to that. Even though deep down inside, they know that focusing on their health and getting their health together is something that they should really do. And so he talks about, it makes the correlation between, you know, our health and um, our mental state by saying, you know, if we're going to um, put the money and things into making sure that our physical being is good, why wouldn't you do the same thing for your mind? Um, for many of us, we, we come into this world into an environment that's already negative. And so over the years, we've developed and taken on these characteristics from that environment, and it really contributes to us being the people that we are today. And if we are really going to get out of that and become the people that we desire to be and to move forward in life, we have to get to a point to where we are spending, and I'll just flat out say it, spending the money, um, uh, um, seeking out opportunities to um, um, get the necessary training and things like that to tr uh, retrain our minds to think differently about um, our life, who we are, and how we go about pursuing our dreams, goals, and aspirations. And so um, I think that that's, really key. Um, so many of us spend so much time in front of the television and um, uh, uh, trying to drown out or not be in, in a, 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 a conscious state of mind about where we are in our lives, but to get that temporary euphoric feeling of, you know, satisfaction to get, just get through another day when in all actuality, reality is what we have to be set on. We have to get to a point to where we are um, okay with being uh, uh, finding out or or, uh, or being conscious about where we're we are to be able to get to where we want to be, 
and having a uh, the, the 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 conscious mindset to go and seek out that training or to start turning off the television and uh, making sure that we are um, um, personally developing ourselves to retrain our thoughts to um, uh, consistently be giving us or feeding ourselves mentally what we need to be uh, to get through this world and to get past and through the negativities because we're, we're just surrounded by a lot of negativity you know I mean when you turn on the news negativity around a lot of co-workers negativity and our families a lot of negativity I mean so when you're talking to people about you know you progressing forward and moving forward in life you know Many times you're going to run into roadblocks where there's going to be someone that's negative about what it is that you're talking about pursuing and where you're going in life. And so that's why it's so important that we are feeding our minds with, you know, positive images and positive um, um, uh, reinforcements that you're not crazy. Well, yeah, you are. And it's okay. Be crazy. Because 98% of the population wants to be normal and being normal hasn't led to anything but people live in mediocre lives. And so don't fine, be crazy. I want to be crazy. If if two, three percent of the population end up being extremely successful and leaving a legacy, legacy, a legacy five times over for generation after generation after generation behind them, that's my goal. And and I know that's many of your goals, and that should be our goal. So we shouldn't want to be normal. That being said, you know, we have to get um past uh, um, this mindset of where we're um, consciously dying, you know, uh, we have to start to retrain ourselves um, and pour into us uh, the the tools that we're going to need to pursue and move forward and closer to our dreams, goals, and aspirations. That being said, please do not die conscious. Uh, don't be alive and not living. Um, that being said, day 40... Two is in the books. As always, I hope you got something out of it, and I'll talk to you all tomorrow.